Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Paint Wing. Today I'll be demonstrating how to paint a puffin with watercolors. Last month I saw some puffins while I was in Alaska, so I thought it'd be fun to paint one. I'm not painting the exact species of puffin I saw on my trip. I'll be painting an Atlantic puffin instead. But that's okay, they're all pretty cute. These here are tufted and horn puffins, and I might even paint these ones later. Next I'll be going over my materials I use. Here are the brushes I'll be using. A number 4, a number 8, 3 over 0, a 10, and a number 0 round brush. I'll also be using a 1 inch Mottler brush, that's the flat looking one. As for paint colors, I'll be using yellow ochre, raw umber, Payne's grey, Prussian blue, cadmium red, orange, and yellow. And then this here on my phone is the reference image I used for this tutorial. I got the image off of Shutterstock.com and I'll have it on my Patreon account. I'm going to start off by painting the beak of the puffin. I'm using cadmium yellow paint with a number zero round brush. I'm going to be using a white on dry technique for this first part of the painting. I'm using a little water to blend out this line. And I'll continue this yellow line upwards. I'm adding a small amount of cadmium orange along the edge of the yellow. Then I'm going to dip my number 4 brush into my orange paint and apply it to the beak of the puffin. While the orange paint is still wet, I'm adding some red paint. While this paint is still damp, I'm going to add some more red paint. In order for it to dry faster, I'm using a hair dryer to dry it. You don't have to use one though. Going back to my number zero brown brush, I'm going to paint in some lines to represent the folds on the puffin's face. For this next step, I'll be using Payne's Gray in a small brown brush. After painting out a line, I'm going to fill in this area with gray paint.
Here I'm adding a thin line of red paint between the upper and lower beak. And then I'll need to fill in the bottom beak as well. Next up I'll be painting the puffin's eye. For the eye I'll be using my cadmium red paint again. I'm adding the right outside of the eye here, just filling in the shape I drew earlier. Now for the eye, I'll be using my Payne's Grey paint again. I'm going to start by outlining the outer edges of the eye. After dipping my paintbrush into clean water, I'm blending out the grey line out. I don't want the gray to appear too dark. I'll be adding more gray spots on the top of the initial layer. This will give the impression that the eye is shiny and reflective, which helps make it look more realistic. I'm painting in a few thin lines. Next I'm going to add quite a bit of water to my grey paint to dilute it before adding it to the head of the puffin. You can always test out your colors before applying it to the paper. I paint so often that I don't personally do this, but it can really help you out if you need it. In order to fill in this area quicker, I'll be using a slightly larger brush. This here is a number four. I'm using a little bit more water to fill this in. Now I'm moving up to a number 10 brush and I'm adding very diluted gray paint. It 
Add quite a bit of water to your paint's gray before applying. The larger brush will also help absorb more water and paint. While the paint is slightly wet, I'm going to splash some water onto it. You can see the blooms forming. For the body, I'll be using one of my favorite brushes. This here is a 1 inch Mottler brush by the brand Princeton. I'm going to dip it into a very light amount of Prussian blue, and then I'm adding some Payne's Gray. For this process, I'm using quite a bit of water. And then some raw umber over here. And a little gray on the edge of the leg. Next, I'm adding some yellow ochre. And some more gray. I'm gonna splash some clean water onto the wash to disrupt the colors a little. On the side here, I'm making feather marks with just a few brush strokes of paint. Using a number 10 round brush, I'm painting in some impressionistic feather marks. Lastly, I just need to paint the legs and feet. I want them to appear as though they're fading out, so I won't go into too much detail. I'm using cadmium yellow and orange for the legs and feet. And then I'll paint the other foot, starting with my yellow paint. After I paint the orange, I'm going to paint in little claws with the gray paint. A few more details and this piece is complete.
Thank you so much for watching. I'll have the full length tutorial on my Patreon account, along with a reference image and a drawing template for you to download. Let me know in the comments if you try it out. If you decide to recreate this piece, please credit my tutorial and tag me at Painted Wing. I might even share it on my social media pages. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.